Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Stock Switch Show Market Review. The QQQ is reviewing this market here. I'm just going to go over the market call I made this morning. It's playing out perfectly beautifully. This was an impossible call that I made this morning. <laughs> Why? Because the market really just was neutral today. And a lot of people probably thought the market was going to fall, and it broke the low twice. But I called the market to hold, and I said the market would hold. <laughs> I said the market would hold. I don't even know if anyone that watches my videos, unless you're watching like every single solitary one where I talk about the market uh, or trail me back however long or many months or years to listen to my market calls if you're getting all of this. If you're in the live training room with me, you get it every day. And it's one of the benefits of being in the live training room with me is that you get my market calls every morning before the open. I, you know, I can't wait to hear what people think tomorrow morning when I get in the room about this because this, this was an impossible call to make. For the read on this, for all intents and purposes, I'm sure most people, 99% of the people out there thought the market would drop today. And I said it would 100% retrace the bar of yesterday. That's exactly what I said. I said this morning, the, the market is going to hold today rally and 100% retrace the bar from yesterday. And that is exactly what we're doing. I, 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 I. So why was this an impossible call to make? Well, let's look at the let's look at the intraday chart first. How am I able to see these things before they happen? I mean, I'm able to predict stuff before it happens. So often it's not even funny, and it's because I know how to read gaps. It's 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 all due to my gap analysis. Let's you know, which I created so I can take credit for the fact I'm doing it, but it's really just me reading the gaps. It's just that most people don't know how to read gaps, right? So anyways, the market open, held, dropped, broke the low, rallied, rallied up, rallied up, and this could have been the low of the morning in here. Aggressive to go long it, many people shorted it, okay? Shorted it in here, the market dropped, broke the low. Broke the low actually before 10 o'clock. That normally, okay, you would look at that and you would say, hmm, you know, that's that's a good short, it's weak. People then went more into the shorts in here. How do I know? Bro market broke the low again. Market broke the low again, came in and held around 11 o'clock reversal time. That was the low of the day. This was the low of the day here, guess what? $96. $96 a whole number and market has rallied ever since. So, you know, the market broke the low twice this morning and and still held. And it's, it's past the target. Actually, target was 98 today for the market. I said in the room this morning, target for the market's 98. It's a 98.15. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. This could go all the way up to 98.20. Here, it's going to it's gonna go up to 98.20, 98.25. Uh, the market's going to close strong. The market's going to close strong, and I don't know where we're going to get tomorrow morning, but I have a feeling we're going to get up. So here's everything I said in the morning. If all the people that were there in the morning with me listening, what did I say? I said, I'm reading this gap. It's a neutral gap. It's neutral slash bullish. If we're going to hold. I said, don't think we're going to come in. We're not going to come in. This is strong. I read the gap today as strong, and that was an impossible call. Why? Because we were just sitting there like a boop, and I said, we're going to hold. And then I also said, we're going to 100% retrace the bar from yesterday. We did that, too. So we're going to go to 98. We did that, too. And I said, don't be surprised if we make a new high sooner than you think. And I said, don't be surprised. Why? Because people are shorting this market. Buying is going to come in. People that are short are going to get stopped out. We could retrace the move that we had down in here in the last week or a couple of days. We could retrace it, I said, in one day or two days. It's exactly what I said. We could, so we could retrace it in a gap. We could retrace it in one day in a gap. Or we could retrace it in two days. And we've already actually retraced, you know, once we get up to here, half of it. We could just keep running. We could just rally all the way up into 3 o'clock here. Here, past 98.20, past 98.25, 98.30, 98.50, dollars We could just keep running, 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 running. Market will close strong today. Like this or more, okay? And people are still in the short. So this is actually just the nice buying, buying, buying. This is all the buying coming in the market. Shorts aren't out of this yet, and no one should have shorted this market because it is nothing to short. There was nothing bearish about any of this. Yesterday was a bearish day, which I called accurately, too. You could have 
you know, short of the market yesterday, but I didn't do that and I don't do that, but you could have. But today was not a day for that. There was not going to happen. And, uh, So the other thing I said this morning in the room was that October is going to be a very bullish month. I did say that in the video yesterday, and despite the fact I called the market short yesterday, I said October is going to be a very bullish month, which we're now at the end of the year. We're going to have some big, big rally in the market. Market in the next four to six months is going to have a rally and hit some crazy number. So one of my friends texted me the other night. I, I think it was last night. Yeah, he texted me, is this the top in the market? And I texted him back, nope. He's a friend of mine that's been trading longer than me. In the market, a stockbroker, he's done it all longer than me, and he's asking me my opinion. That's actually very complimentary. I have friends of mine now that are around and people in New York that are asking me what I think of things that have been around way longer than me. I know how to read gaps, and I am feel so grateful and lucky that I do because that is how I'm able to accurately read what's going to happen in stocks and the market and predict things ahead of time. I read it in the morning. I read it in the pre-market and just make the call and do it. You can take the application of the system I have for the 26 point rating system and you could rate AT ETFs. You know, that's, I mean, yeah, I don't rate the market every day, I'm reading it. I'm reading it because I have a good eye now because I, you know, I know all the stuff I know, but you could actually rate the QQQs the SPY every morning too, I guess. So you could play ETFs based on the rating system to get the direction right. It's another application of something to do that you know, again, it's, it's, it's not the reason I created that. I created it to trade stocks in the right direction to read the gap. But you could use my system to read the market ETFs or any ETF, actually. And uh, that's the reason I've been calling this market very well, very accurately. Boy, this was, this was an impossible call today, though, because I know that people thought we were going to break. And we even, even for the first hour and a half of the day, even for the first hour and a half of the day, it looked like that. So we'll see what everybody says tomorrow morning in the room. Uh, you know, I hope no one shorted this market. It was a no-go today, and uh, the market is higher. Market can make a new high before the end of the week. Today's only Wednesday. You got Thursday and Friday left. Do I know that's going to happen for certain? No. I, I don't know until I get up in the morning and read the gap, but we're probably going to gap up tomorrow morning. I mean, you know, unless something happens or some data is out tomorrow morning before the open, which I didn't really look to see. <clears throat> that could change that, but we're going to close strong. 98.50 is the next number. Wouldn't put it past the market to hit that in here and close like that today. Really going to have a strong close no matter what happens here today. So nice call I made in the market this morning. Everyone in the live trading room heard me make it. And uh, it's just one of these things where this was... I made a little speeches here myself. I, I said we hundred percent retrace the bar from yesterday. <sighs> Anyways, if you'd like to learn how to read gaps or take my class to learn how to trade, email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. The class is this weekend, October eleventh and twelfth. Email me if you'd like more information. Melissa at the stockswoosh.com. Market's higher. Market's gonna make a new high. Higher, higher, higher. Have a great day, everyone.